majority of you. There's my little fishies since I ha can't have real fishies. Dory's ugly as hell though. Don't marry into Dory. Oh my god, my fishes. Good news, girls. Twonks is alive and well. This next clip is because sometimes enough is enough. I want to be able to show you examples of what I'm talking about when I say that I feel like I am fat shamed where I feel like there's a hate mob around me due to my weight, where people are rude to me due to my weight. Sorry if it looks like I've been crying, it's because I have. It's clear that it's rude and it's fat shaming. Um, I opened this because it said perishable on the side, the whole mobility scooter magazine, you know, whatever. I, I can't be perfect all the time. So I'm gonna shed light on some of the shaming that I do receive inside of my um, PO box. Mobility Direct, okay. So someone thinks I need a little scooter. Fat phobia at its finest. You know, it makes the world go round. A little bit of bad, a little bit of good. Yikes on bikes. This is where it's like, there's funny trolling, like lighthearted trolling. And then there's just downright, like, abuse. <laughs> like, this is, it's like sending alcohol to an alcoholic. Or people say all the time, you're not bullied. Why can't you just take constructive criticism? I'm not the fucking problem. Some of you are. It's like, I try to do something nice. But this is the shit that I deal with outside of the camera. So, you know, this is what happens when my YouTube channel seven, eight years ago, ends up on a fat shaming website and all of you guys decide to come follow me. This is what happens. Fat shaming isn't real. What do you mean it's fat phobia? It's constructive criticism. What is that? Well, I hope it's not from one of her brand new subscribers that may just want to send her a gift, but the way she responded to the scooter catalog versus a loaf of bread is so drastic. You're sending alcohol to an alcoholic. <laughs> I hope you have fun sitting next to Trump in hell. She claims she threw both of these things in the trash. So girls, please stop sending her things to her P.O. box, even if it's a joke. Times are tough and she doesn't deserve your hard earned money. I've been hearing you guys, you guys are screaming at me, take us with you in public. So here's a perfect example of what I normally would not film. 